Well, here we are, our segment with weight loss coach Charles D'Angelo. Another success story. Let's look at, at Father Ted Vitale when he weighed 240 pounds. There he is. And now, let's see what he looks like. Unbelievable! <laughs> Well, Charles, tell us about Father. Well, Father Vitale here is the chair of the philosophy department at St. Louis University here. And he started the program over two years ago. He went from just around 240 pounds down to 169, 169 to 175. That's where he oscillates within. And he's maintained it. Most importantly, the reason we're having him today is this month marks his two-year anniversary oh, of keeping the weight off. Yay, there you go. We get lots of claps around here for success. Yes. So, Father, tell me, has it been a, a big challenge these two years to keep it off? The, yeah, the last year, the, uh, the year that keeping it off is the hardest part mm -hmm. by far. When you're trying to lose the weight, you always have a target. So you, every day or every week, you're always trying to get down. You've got a number and you're chasing a number. Uh, but once you've gotten to where you want to be, you have to do basically the same thing. To, it's like running a race, but now you don't want to stand still. You want to not move, but you've got to run almost as hard as you ran. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that takes willpower, let me tell you. That, I, that's I, not, there's no, because there's no success. The success is to have nothing. <laughs> and nobody, the success is that. to have nothing. That's how you should bill it. Success <laughs> is nothing. Come to my place. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sacrifice to stay the same. Yeah, that's hard to sacrifice to stay the yeah, same. That's, um, that's easily the hardest Now, in part. the past, did you, did you feel like your relationship with food was, was an addiction? Yeah, I, looking back, I didn't think of it at the time. Sure. A lot of it, I don't know if you could... I treat it like an addiction. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was an addiction or not. Maybe it is biologically. I don't know the answer to that. Right. But uh, eating habits and foods that you like, and when you don't have the knowledge to discern what is healthy from what's unhealthy and top it off when you don't, therefore your discipline can't chase it. Right. If, if you don't know what you're doing. Then you, you put yourself in a situation, you keep gaining weight, even when you're trying not mm -hmm. to. I mean, I... I've never been on a formal diet, I can't say that. This is the first time. But you always think, well, if I cut this out, I cut that, I do this and I do that, and it never works no, because you never, don't know what you're doing. There wasn't enough structure. And so when you had the structure, you know, you're working within a, a frame. That, that a skeleton. Works, and you are educating yourself, but, but, but there's also the whole psychological, the emotional component of mm -hmm. reminding yourself all the time that you can't go back. When you see those bad foods, those unhealthy things, for Father Vitale, he liked donuts. He remarked to me recently that now when he sees a donut, he's actually repulsed by it because he realizes mm -hmm. how Why it makes him that? feel. I don't know. That's I'd like a, to know. You know. That's the tricky part. I don't know. I, I, I think um, Do you your desire to keep the weight off mm -hmm. has to be Greater. more powerful than your desire for the food, mm -hmm. that kind of food. It's got, you, one counterbalances the other. And I think if you, um, when I even like pasta, I love pasta. Being mm -hmm. Italian, I certainly love it. But then I look at it and I think, I, I feel a fear. If I eat this, I'm going to gain the weight. And I, th I, know I think that word feel is important because you look at it and you remember how you felt when you mm -hmm. were not following a program or felt good about yourself and what you were eating. And mm -hmm. I think that's what you tap into. Conditioning. And that helps me because it's like, I don't want to eat that candy because I remember how I felt when there was mm -hmm. too much sugar. In the immediate, that short-term gratification is something that people, when they first start the program, hang on to. But after they uh, develop momentum from the results they're getting, from having more energy, their clothes fading looser, everyone telling them how great they're doing, their doctor ecstatic with the results. He's been taken off of all of his medications. The all but thyroid. That's all but yeah, thyroid. The high blood pressure was what got me going. And and, okay, and, and finally, uh, Father, there are people out there that are desperate to lose weight and they feel like there's no hope, but you are proof that you can oh, yeah. do it. Yeah, it's 70, almost 70 years old. 70 years old and 70 pounds. Yeah, that's the truth. I think maybe if there's any value I have on this show to somebody who's in their late 60s and has probably, and probably given up hope, there's no reason to. Don't give it up. Look at him. It's great. It. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining Very us. Good. Charles will be Very back. Very good. Father next, Vitale. Yeah, Charles will be back next Thursday, and you can contact him on kplr11.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Up next, the sweet